What's up YouTube everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we're using the main AR we're using the TAC 56 playing some CDO mosh pit if you are an AR player and you are trying to improve then I highly recommend watching this video to the end in fact if you're an SMG player I would also recommend watching this video not because of how an AR plays but how you can counter an assault rifle if you can get into a mind of an AR player as an SMG it makes your job a lot easier in breaking them down let's get right into it so starting off with this P2 rotation and let's see exactly how I break it my team is playing so passive here, so I don't have time to wait for them. I have to go in and try breaking it by myself. So right here, I'm expecting him to kind of be around this area. We managed to take out one. I'm going to back off here, and luckily for me, he overchows it. And now the third guy is on the head glitch, and that was an excellent play of how I solo broke the hill by myself. Just to reiterate what I did there, as soon as I got the first kill, I backed off and allowed the second player to be the aggressor. As the second guy overchowed, I managed to pre-fire him and take him out, and the third guy was just sitting on a rock, which was very, very easy. Now right here, my team is pushing the right-hand side which means this left lane is empty luckily for me i pre-aim it and two people come into my site so you can see straight away i've got about five or six kills and to be honest i haven't done much work they basically fell right into my pre-aim that's why it's so important as an ar player to set yourself up in positions where the team will essentially fall into your iron sight basically an even game really good p2 from the team there we're going into a p3 here and now looking back at the situation i look at my teammates on the top left of my minimap they're just not rotating and they're really not helping me out here instead of me jumping in the hill and dying here i decide to hold this top area this top area is vital for this hill to hold the map control so as i get one i reposition and i'm just going to watch over my team here and watch these back stairs my team once again they're quite scared of the hill i'm not sure why i think they might be allergic to it so i'm just having to play around the hill unfortunately because they're not really on there this guy plays aggressive and he absolutely guns me really good shots from that guy probably got him one shot i'm hoping my teammate can get the trade there i don't think that's the case but that's okay yep that guy gets a three piece just what you want to see on your kill feed and now we're still up by 15 i'm going to play aggressive there with 20 seconds left we want to try flipping the spawns and just seeing if we can get the scrap time for the remaining of the hill so as I look at the timer here with 13 seconds left, I know my next objective is to rotate, but we spawn here, so we're just going to basically push out this old hill, see if we can get the last 8 seconds and push through. Really good movement there from me, getting that drop shot off. Make sure you're a hard target to kill there. You don't want to be static, you want to be either jumping or drop shotting depending on the situation. The more you move, the harder it is for your enemy to hit you. So we actually got really blessed here, we got very, very good spawns, and I'm just going to set up on the new hard point. And you notice where I put the trophy system. Trophy systems are so important in this game. Right here, I put the trophy system right next to me the way the game is is very easy to pre-aim and the only downside is also equipment but with a trophy system it basically allows you to lock down a lane now right there looking back at that situation i did see that guy slip through the left which i didn't see in game but you can see that the spawns have flipped let's see how we break this as a team so pushing through the right here my team has gone through aggressively which is exactly what i want so as an ar i'm going to get some high ground and just trying to watch over them i'm going to push through and luckily i managed to get one i see the other guy there i'm going to get some pre-fire shots on really good shots out me the grenade hits me but luckily the guy didn't see me and that's two down once again the hard point is managed to be on our side that would basically split that hard point we managed to take out another guy there on the rotation we can see the hard point getting contested so right here i'm just going to wait here i spawn enemy to the left going to once again just wait for my team because i'm an assault rifle player here i'm trying to play a bit more passive allow my team to go in first and just trying to hold positions that can help us out so right here my team it goes in with a huge opening kill he manages to get two which is absolutely excellent i go in and i manage to clean out the third okay this guy's absolutely frying with a pistol what can i do here i get the guy weak i know where he's gonna go and we get the fourth guy right there that was my teammate going absolutely huge they're pushing and getting the three peats and what's very important in my position is once my teammates are getting those kills i have to make sure i play aggressive with them get those trades and allow for our team to set up okay so right here with 30 seconds left I don't know what our sniper's doing. He's not moving. So we're basically in a 3v4 situation. So once again, I'm going to have to up my pacing. It's really important to address and adjust your pacing throughout the game. You can't be static and stay at one pace. As the game tempo switches, you have to switch with it. So again, with 10 seconds left, I'm just making sure we kind of lock down this hill. Ideally, I would actually rotate in this situation. But I think because I was already there, I might as well stay there. So once more, Dan Mark is locking down the hill for five seconds. He's going to get that. We basically spawn in the old objective as well. Okay, so right here, going to this P one i'm expecting them to be on the rock on my left just because of the way the position is and the way the spawns are i'm just expecting them to be in this rock here again i could get on the hill easy but i'm really really nervous that the enemy will come behind me and kill me so i'm just watching over hoping that my teammates come unfortunately they took a very long time there so i had to make a decision do i either go on the hill first or do i wait i think looking back there i should have just held it for a lot longer because i knew my teammates weren't coming and it was a very very high risk getting on the hill so once again i'm just going to go around
round here. Now this time I'm sitting on the rock. As an assault rifle, you have to make sure you're positioned enough to help your team. So we get one here. This guy's weak. What I'm going to do is pre-aim the window because the way the guy's standing, he's either going to come through the door or through the window. And I'm just going to play my odds here and hope he comes through the window. Unfortunately, he doesn't push through either, but we managed to pick him up on the rotation. We get the second guy and as we do that, we back off. The reason why I backed off there is because I was taking shots. It was basically insurance for my life there. As I got those shots off, I was backing off so that I don't die. So once again, my teammates just aren't rotating, so it's down to me. And knowing where my teammates are, I know they're going to come from the back of the hill. You have to keep an eye on your teammates at all time. If my teammates are at the front, I have a good guess that they're going to come at the back. Once again, just going to cover my back here. My teammates get a three-piece. So I know they're all going to be spawning here. So it's just about locking this lane down. We managed to get the drop shot on the first guy. And now I'm absolutely one shot. I'm not really worried about my life here. I'm just trying to soak up as much time as I can. And hopefully cause a distraction for my teammates. We got Danmark with a sniper looking like an absolute bot on the top left. Not providing much information at all for the team. Ideally in this situation, I would love to be on the top left rock kind of watching over my teammates with an assault rifle. But because they're not playing aggressive, I have to play aggressive myself. And I guess that's the highlight of this message. is the fact that even though you're an assault rifle player, you still have to play aggressive sometimes. You have to make sure you're matching the pacing of your team. And right here, the fact that my teammates aren't playing aggressive, I have to step up and play aggressive, even though I don't have the gun for it. But it works out well that we get a three-piece, we get another kill on rotation. And once again, the game is very, very close. We're going to move again and move to the next hard point. Basically, you're repeat of p1 on the last rotation no one's rotated with me and i'm by myself but same thing i did last time i'm just going to lock down this upper stairs area we i heard this guy so i managed to take him out and i'm not very in i'm not really in a rush here to get the hill i'm literally just going to lock it down and wait for my teammates i do a really good job here getting one get a bit unfortunate there go round and try getting the second just because of the timings and where my teammates are positioned, I know exactly where they're going to spawn. Oh, we go rogue here with a knife and we go absolutely crazy. We take out another one. We got our streak. We got the hill, but unfortunately we are out of ammo. Just going to wait here. And you're just looking at my minimap. My teammates really need to push here. They're, I'm not sure why they're not playing around me. If you're that teammate, please make sure you go near the hill. Even if you want to kind of slay and go for the kills, at least go for the kills around the hill or push out the lanes. What my teammates are doing is not very helpful at all. They're literally backing off and just providing no information for the team so we pick up the scrap time but i'm aware that my team are not rotating and once again the enemies are there we're just gonna have to go through the left here as a team so right here my teammate does die i get a really good jump shot to take him out i'm just gonna hold this middle lane here because i'm expecting them to push that and cut off the lane so right there i heard my teammates die which means that there's an enemy behind me so i know he's gonna play aggressive just gonna wait here not very good shots from me at all i'm expected to die here really bad shots just gonna try to play my life Oh, almost finessing, but yeah, that wasn't great shots on my behalf. But that guy right there, he made a really good play with an SMG. He pushed out. Unfortunately for him, his teammates weren't set up in the hill, which allowed us to slip the spawns. So these spawns are not because of us. This is not any good play from our team. So right here, if you get good spawns, you might be thinking, oh, you know, you did something right. That's not always the case. It's actually a misplay from the other team. What happened is one of their enemies pushed out. He got a three piece, but because his team was pushed out so further up, it actually allowed us to flip spawns and actually worked in our favor. But right here, we managed to take out two. And once again, I'm expecting myself to put a trophy system down. Let's see if I do it. Okay, maybe I didn't. See, that's a misplay right there. Right there, I'm expecting myself to put a trophy down. Maybe because it was only 10 seconds left, I didn't do so but right here i'm playing aggressive i'm feeling myself once again a very common theme my teammates are struggling to rotate they're always leaving it to the last second which is really not what you want to do you want to be able to set up about 15 to 20 seconds before and allow yourself to set up because against a good team you will be punished so right here my god my goal is very simple i'm just going to cut the reinforcements here i'm in no rush to get in the hill and just like that we pick up a magnificent three piece at the back of the hill we're just locking down this whole lane i know just because of the math there's only one guy left in the hill so i'm getting really frustrated here that my teammates aren't pushing and trying to clear that hill here because my job as an AR should be down to lock down that lane but once again you have to get dirty if your team aren't pushing up so what I'm going to do is go in take some plays out in the hill and I'm absolutely frying but it's not showing in the scoreboard because my team aren't pushing the hill it's really really affecting us. I think I played that position really well there I managed to get three piece on the rock here and I really wish my teammates just worked together to take out the guy on the hill. Once again right here as my teammate pushes through I'm no point me jumping with him I'm just going to kind of wait bait him out and just play with him really unfortunate they're not to get the kill but once again they end the hill on that time 
We're 35 points down now, but we have to go up. We have to clutch up. Push in this P1 once again. Let's see if our team can adapt and finally win this rotation. This has been one we've been struggling with for a while. So I go through the window, get some really good shots up there. And what I'm going to do is reposition straight away. Let's see if I can take this guy out. Okay, some bad shots from me there. Maybe could have pre-aimed a bit more as I jumped up the window. But my teammates are looking like they're in a position to take that hill here. And now looking where I spawn, I know it's flipped. So what I'm going to do is stand on this ledge here. I knew I'd stand on the ledge. It's one of my favorite spots here. Every time I'm there, I stand on that ledge because that ledge just gives me so much elevation and allows me to really take the people out the window so with 25 seconds left here i can see my team is pushed out which is not necessarily a bad thing it's actually quite good putting the pressure onto the opponents but unfortunately they're retaliating and they're getting the kills once again on the ledge here just watching over my team this is a huge 20 seconds i managed to take out two so now looking back at the situation i'm expecting somebody to rotate through the left side of the map and i'm not sure if that happens but i'm expecting someone to do so put a trophy down i'm just going to kind of watch the back here Let's Let's see what I do with this score streak and where the enemies are coming from. So it looks like I was right here. One player is actually coming through the left side of the map. Let's see if I can take him out as he approaches the hill. Okay, so unfortunately I didn't get him, but there's actually a guy in the hill here. So as we take out this guy, we're expecting a second guy. I'm just going to pre-fire the back here because I know he's close. Really good shots from there. Honestly, if you can win those gunfights with an AR, then you know you're sorted for the game because those are very, very difficult gunfights to win, especially against a Vaznik player. So right here, I'm just going to let my teammates kind of go out and I'm just going to stay in the hill. Okay, this is a really important tip. Clusters cannot go through trophies. So that's exactly what happened there. I kind of baited him into going for me because I knew that the trophy system would protect me and it worked to an absolute treat there. Right here, once again, as my team's in the hill, I'm just going to lock down this corner. This head glitch is one of my favorites as an AR in this position. If your teammate can sit in the hill here, you can soak up so much time. You can just go back and forward between these head glitches, watching the back and the front. Now, with eight seconds left, we managed to take out this guy and try pushing out. Right here, they've kind of trapped me in the zone here. So I can either push out aggressively or take my time. Unfortunately for me, I do die. But it actually might work in my favor. Again, that's not because of us. It's more of a misplay from my opponents. So if you noticed there, they pushed out that very, very aggressively, which was such a poor play. There's actually three of them in the old hardpoint. I'm not sure what they were doing there, but that was definitely not the right play. In an ideal situation for my opponents there, they would actually set up at the new hardpoint and suffocate us at the back of the map. But in fact, the opposite actually happened. They actually let us have that whole time and then they pushed it out and allowed us to flip, allowing us to get back into the game. Once again, looking at my mini map, just going to see what lane's empty. I noticed the back is empty. Oh my god, great shots there, going for the drop shot. Really frying it, absolutely turning up towards the end of the game. We managed to get another one. I'm just predicting. It's all about prediction, where you think they're going to be and where your teammates are. That's all it is, especially when you're playing as an AR. You just have to predict where you can make your life easier, where you can pre-aim and where you expect the enemies to come from. I know it sounds very simple, but you just have to kind of look at your mini map and then just go from there. Right there, we get a two-piece. With three seconds left, we're ready to rotate my team's already set up at the new hill and it looks like the game's about to end and just like that with 0.01 seconds right here if you are in this situation get off the hill the timer goes down when you're not on the hill i'm not sure how so many people don't know that but let's take a look at this the team it's almost done our team just needs to get off the hill for one second i don't know why they're not they're stressing me out i give it to them we get the win let's see why i end up with 55 kills absolutely carrying my team i think i literally got exactly what my team got in kills you got 33 10 and 12 i basically got got what they got together absolutely frying hope you guys did enjoy that gameplay it was a bit hectic because it was a very fast paced game let me know what you think in the comments and also what you want to see in the next video thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one